Hello, welcome to Breathe You Sagittarius. I'm gonna start with you guys for this lovely September reading. Um, I haven't done it in a long time, so I was like, I'll do some longer readings um, because I've been doing shorts recently just to get more content out there for you guys. So let's get into it. So we're gonna start off with this energy oracle. Ooh, so right away we got blossoming abundance and the journey cards. Some of you guys are going on this journey to have more abundance in your life. Yeah, because look, the financial constraints being the third card out. Some of you guys have been dealing with financial constraints and it's really time for your money to be improving. You gotta take action though on this journey. I'm hearing you need to take action steps. Action steps towards your goals, towards your dreams, towards savings as well. I'm also hearing investments that you're making. The thinking woman, some of you guys, this has been heavy on your brain, heavy on your mind, how you can move forward, what it is that you can do um, to make these changes happen. Rest and rejuvenation is also needed. I feel like if some of you guys really, um, like if you're highly into like spirituality, things like that, um, with the rest and rejuvenation card, I'm feeling like if you do some meditation, really listening to your inner voice for that guidance, that's really where you're going to get it from. I feel like you're too much in your head. You kind of need to get out of your head a little bit, let go, release some things that's been kind of holding you back, hindering you as well. Yeah, underneath that indecision, you're not sure which way to go, how to move forward to really get out of this financial situation that you're in. Um, I'm hearing currently, you know, so then that way you can go down this journey of abundance and abundance in many different ways. And it's not just financially, but this could be like different opportunities as well. And I'm not seeing it here in the spread, but in my head, I'm seeing the card adjacent possibilities with the different doorways. So there is different opportunities, different um ways that you can move forward however you really need to tap into your intuition to know which way is the best way for you guys to move forward okay so that's what i'm getting for you guys when it comes to energy oracle i'm also going to pull from the chakra wisdom oracle deck as well i'm hearing pull from the top right yeah seventh chakra that's your base chakra root chakra energy so grounding yourself grounding your energy i'm hearing grounding your emotions fifth chakra archangel gabriel that's like your solar is that your solar plexus i don't know i'd be forgetting <laughs> um the solar plexus and then with the sun solar period so i feel like that means happiness is coming i'm also hearing the word introspection when it comes to that solar plexus um you know it's about your your inner thoughts some of you guys are having anxiety because you're over thinking like i said you need to get out of your head you need to rest rejuvenate kind of relax um very temple path for some of you guys so there's also the community card popping out some of you guys i feel like need to turn to your like your friends to really get get help um or even just to vent you know if needed and that will really give you guys some peace of mind because maybe you're just holding on i'm hearing harboring a lot of thoughts and a lot of feelings I gotta put these away because if it gets windy, I do not want my cards everywhere, right? But yeah, I feel like some of you guys just need to turn to your friends and talk about certain things that are bothering you. So let's get into the chakra wisdom oracle cards. The baby, my little one just woke up, but we are in the park chilling today. Hi, beautiful. What are you doing? You play your unicorn. You play your unicorn, you dear. You're such a sweet little baby. You're so sweet. All right, let me see. One more shuffle. And then I'm going to pull the last few cards for you. Look at that with the quest and then the vanity. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. So with the quest and vanity, I'm feeling like maybe some of you guys are also, I'm hearing changing the way that you, like, you look, changing your outlook as well, perspective, I'm hearing. Yeah, rejection. Maybe some of you guys are afraid of being rejected too. Perseverance, perception, that's crazy. Self-worth and guilt. So I literally just spoke about that. So yeah, but the perseverance, I feel like it's because you're going through tough times right now with your finances. You need to persevere through that. With the perception and the self-worth, I literally just talked about how some of you guys are changing the way that you're looking or your outlook. So I'm going to read that in a couple different ways. Some of you guys need to change your perception about where it is that you are in life right now. Um, some of you guys may not be in the best position in life. However, I'm hearing there's a lot of good here where you're at in your life right now and i'm hearing be grateful i'm also looking at the emerald i don't know what that means specifically so if you guys can look that up what an emerald or jade um type of crystal is actually good for healing that might be helpful for some of you guys if you feel called to do that 
with the butterfly being um prominent on that card two times there's two butterflies on here let me see. So, yeah. two butterflies on there so the two butterflies that shows me transformation so some of you guys are really transforming not only your perception your inner world but you're also with the self-worth here and vanity popped up too um that is showing me that you're also changing the way that you are seen on the outside you know this is a throne here so some of you guys are getting ready to step into this leadership position step into this new role in your life and that's also going to give you a higher sense of self-worth um because your money is going to be good however before that happens before you get the money i feel like you need to focus on you know yourself your inner work because a lot of times the outer I feel like the outer can be a reflection to your inner world, you know? And then the last one here, the last card is the guilt card. So some of you guys have some guilt because of some bad habits that you have. However, I feel like you can break out of those bad habits, right? Let me see. Should I pull from the top again? Right, yeah. Acceptance. Yeah. Accept yourself as you are. That's going to be very helpful. And then service I see in rejection. So some of you guys might have a service, might have a business idea, some type of idea, but you feel that people might reject it. However, if this is something that you're being called to do, if this feels like this is something part of your purpose in your life, I'm hearing go for it. Don't allow other people to kind of take that from you. Just go for it. You know, if it feels right, go for it. All right. Thank you guys. And sorry that I had blown my damn nose. <laughs> So thank you guys for watching the review. I hope you all enjoyed this message. And go ahead and watch those little shorts that I put out there recently too. Um, yeah. But thank you guys again for watching. Bye-bye.